Hey guys, today we're doing 12 awesome fat burning, bone building moves using the step. They're plyometric, that means we're gonna be springing, jumping, hopping, whatever you wanna call it. It's so good for you, excellent for strengthening tendons, ligaments, and as I said, building bone, which is super important, especially as we get older. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds of work, pushing as hard as we can, recovering for 10 seconds. We're doing two rounds, so that means the workout is gonna be 12 minutes. Welcome to Short Circuits. Make sure you're warmed up, and let's get sweaty. We're gonna start out by straddling the step. We're gonna be doing step taps, much like having a soccer ball between your feet and tapping the top of the soccer ball. Here we go. Stay light on the balls of your feet. Moving as quickly as you can. Quick little taps. Five seconds left. Next up, we have a heel click combo. So we're gonna continue to stay straddling the step. Hands are down on the step. And then we're gonna click the heels and jump on top of the step. Now you have the option to stay with this move or to make it a little bit more challenging by adding a heel click above the step. Five seconds left, push through it. Come to one side of the step. We're gonna be jumping on top of the step and then off on the other side. And if you can, you're gonna to touch the top of the step. So staying light again on the balls of your feet and just moving from side to side. Nice soft squat. Sit back on your heels. Almost there. Excellent. Next up, we have a step burpee. So we're coming to one side of the step again, but this time we're facing the step. Hands are gonna come down to the top of the step, shoot the feet out, and then jump on top. So moving as fast as you can, landing softly, bending the knees, bracing the core. You've got five seconds left. This next one is fairly challenging. You have the option to leave the platform on the risers or take it off and put it on the floor. We're gonna be doing a single leg hop. And this one I really struggle with. You need to have a lot of strength in your feet. You're trying to land softly so you're not moving super fast. Landing in a little bit of a single leg squat there. Using the arms to propel yourself up, that will be helpful. And then we're gonna just turn around and do the same thing on the other side. Try to keep this move as quiet as possible. You're using a lot of glutes and quads here, and obviously calves. Awesome, guys. Five seconds. Good work. Replace the platform onto the risers and make sure that it's secure. We're going to start this next move, diagonal lunges from the top of the step. You're reaching one foot back and you're touching the top of the step, if you can, with the opposite hand to foot. Bit of a hip hinge here. You're reaching, you're springing. You're almost there, three seconds. And you're done. You're gonna come off the step, you're gonna face the step from the side. We're gonna be doing a Charleston move. So you're gonna be doing a knee drive and a lunge back. See if you can touch the top of the step on that reverse lunge. A little bit of a spring up to the step and then a jump on the step. A lot of hopping here. Super cool guys, rest and get ready to do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, a little spring and knee drive, reach, 10 seconds left, and 
and you're done. All right, we're going to be sideways to the step here. On one side, hands come down to the top of the step. And we're going to jump the feet over three times and a nice squat jump. Reach up, land softly. You want to keep this move as quiet as possible again, using those glutes as brakes. And that's it. Come to the back of the step. We're going to be doing a hopscotch combo. So we're going to be jumping on top of the step and then straddling and moving forward three times, coming to the end of the step and then doing a 180 turn. Nice and light on those feet. Three seconds left. Awesome, guys. Last move is a mud run. So you're going to come to the side of the step. And we're just going to be running over the top and back. You can do whatever you want to do with your hands. I'm showing one option here. Driving that knee up. Quick feet. Everything tight, staying nice and light. Three, two, one, and you are finished round one. So take a little break here. Grab a drink, whatever you need to do. And let's get ready for round two. We're starting from a straddle position, maybe one foot on top. We're doing those step taps. Here we go. See if you can move a little faster this time. Ten seconds left. Awesome, guys. Next up is that heel click combo. You're still straddling the step. Hands come down onto the top of the step. You're going to do a heel click and you're going to jump on top of the platform. Or if you're ready, you can go right away into that heel click on top of the step. A little bit more dynamic, more intense. Push, push. Come around to one side of the step. We're going to be doing an over the step jumping combination. So you're sideways. And here we go. Jump on the step and off. Touch the top of the platform if you can. Soft landings always. All right, you're facing the step from the side. We're doing a step burpee. Strong abs here. Hands down, thrust, and then jump up and down off the step. Soft knees. 10 seconds left. If you want to add a push-up here, you're more than welcome to do that. Awesome. You're going to take the platform off or leave it on if you feel really strong. We're sideways to that platform and we're doing a single leg hop. Up and down. And if this is too much for you, you can do the same thing just on the floor. Halfway there. You're going to turn it around. Same thing on the other side. Here we go. Make sure you're landing in a soft squat so that knee is bent. Five seconds left. Excellent. Put the platform back on, reset, make sure it's secure, and get ready for diagonal lunges. Here we go. Reach. As you hip hinge, you want to make sure you're still bracing your core to protect your spine. You're more than halfway there. 
push it. Three, two, one. Charleston is next. And hop on and hop. Lots of hopping. Drive that knee up. See if you can get a little bit more ear here. Beautiful, guys. Three seconds left. Two, one, and you're done. Rest, and same thing on the other side. Three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, you're going to be sideways to the step. We're going to be doing the three hand hops with, the, with one jump. Get ready and go. Ten seconds left. Stay strong. Five seconds. That's it. You're coming to the back of the step now for the hopscotch combo. Start with your feet wide. And here you go, on top, moving forward, and turn. Up and down, up and down, up and down, and turn. Halfway there. And the last move is a mud run. And go. Fast as you can, pulling those arms down or using whatever arms you would like to do. Pull that knee up. Five seconds left. Pick it up. And that's it. You are done. Excellent job. Thanks so much for getting sweaty with me today and for choosing short circuits. New workouts are posted on Mondays. If you enjoyed this one, please like and share. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Until next time, take care of you, be happy, be healthy, and get sweaty.